Hi everyone, this is Sarah from Sarah Be Happy Plans and today I'm going to show you um, my word of the year and the inspirational sheet I made to help guide me through this year. Um, I made the sheet for my big happy planner um, that I'm going to start next week and I got this on sale um, in the fall. Um, they were having a huge sale on Happy Planners. It actually started in July of 2022, but I already had my big through December. So I bought this knowing that I would just take out July through December, um, save those sheets in case I need them for something and start this in July of 2023. So that's what I did. Um, I put my name here. This is just a sticker of my name that I made on the Cricut. And let's get into this. Um, my word of this year is achieve. And this page took me probably two and a half hours to complete. And I didn't film it because I knew it was gonna take a while and I was just kind of really messing around and I ended up really, really liking how it turned out and I'm super pumped to use this. And this is really a January currently page, but I erased that and I put just the 2023 up here and every month I am going to take this out and put it at the start of my next month, just so it's, I just wanna see this all the time so that I I can achieve my goals. I want it to, to help remind me. So um, I'm just gonna, kind of gonna go through it with you. I'm gonna fill these things out here with you. Um, what I used was um, Happy Planner Flowers. Sorry, I'm trying to see what got on the camera there I used happy planner happy plans and then I used your growth as a process that one sticker from this book which um, is also happy planner fun brights I got this on Black Friday sale so um, let's take this out and I'm going to just kind of walk you through this um, I have a an app on my phone, it's called Motivation, and so every day it, it sends me a motivational quote. And so um, today my quote was, dare to live the life you've always wanted. So I hand lettered this here in this spot. Um, I hand lettered these two achieves here. Um, I went to 1001fonts.com and you can choose what type of font you want. And then you can type in your word. And I looked through so many fonts and I finally found this one, which is called um, Carltown, Carltown with a K. So I just looked at it. I did some practice ones and then full disclosure, I wrote it here along this side first and I thought it was too small. Like I, I wanted to do it bigger, but it's hard for me to naturally write this big, let alone even bigger than that. So I didn't have the patience to keep practicing. Um, so I decided to also put it up here and I didn't think it would be a big deal to have it twice because it's a good word. I know this isn't a typical word of the year, but it's the word that kept popping into my head and I'm already feeling really inspired by it. Like achieve, achieve, achieve. I can do this. So, um, my my three three main categories are going to be health, finances, and goals. Um, I hand lettered these as well using that same Carltown. I just punched in these words and and looked at it, did a practice run, and went from there. So I'm trying to decide. I'm thinking that I might put. I saw some gold bullets in here and I thought those might be pretty because there's a tiny bit of gold down here. Um, use some gold bullets in these boxes just to bring it on in. Here they are. Okay, so let's 
Etsy. I am going to, for health, I've got three main goals for each one. So the first one, I'm gonna use my Sharpie S gel 0.7 here. My first health goal is um, I just wanna count calories so that I am aware of how much I'm putting into my body every day. So count calories. And then let's see, just put that there and let's go ahead and put a third one down. Okay. Um, my second for health is um, movement. Whether that be walking on my lunch, walking the dog after work, stretching, planking. I just want to incorporate more movement into my life. I feel so good after I do it, but getting me to actually do it is, is the problem. And so I recently read something that said, don't wait till you get motivated because you could wait forever. Just do it. And then you're going to see results and that will then motivate you to keep going. So movement, I'm going to put that into my life this year. And then the last thing for health is therapy. I have known for a while that I should probably see a therapist. I struggle with mental health. And I, especially around the holidays, I mean, they've always said that's a time of year that is, is hard for a lot of people. And I get so overwhelmed during the holidays that I, I snap on the people I love the most. Um, I'm super emotional. It's just, it's hard. I, I lost my grandma at the beginning of December. That's been really hard. Um, I'm losing a relationship in my life with a family member that is good for me that that's going away, but I think I've still got some, some deep rooted stuff that I need to talk out about that. So um, one of my health goals for my mental health is to find a therapist and start going regularly and try to just work out some of the stuff I've got going on in my busy brain. Um, so that's what that one is. The next one, uh, we'll do finances. I am on a mission this year to really, really pay close attention to what I'm doing financially. And just, I really want to make myself proud when it comes to, well, when it comes to all of this stuff, but especially when it comes to finances, I am not good with money and I'm really, really trying to get, get there. Um, so what I realized last year really works for me is taking cash out weekly, like literal cash. So um, I'm just gonna write, my first is to cash out weekly. Um, my second one I wanna work on for finances is to stick to my budget. I've been putting my budget together and there are th so many things, you should see my list, so many things I wanna save for. Um, I mean, and it's, it's gonna, if it was just me, it would take me years, but um, it's stuff like finishing, remodeling our kitchen, finishing our basement, starting a savings for my son who is seven but if i start saving now um it will not be as hard when he turns 16 to help him out with a car you know i want to i want to be able to give him a car um i also take a girl's trip every year i want to save for that i want to save for our family vacation so just i want to stick to my budget and um i guess i've just talked about the third thing which is saving for the allotted categories that I have 
written down. And it's too many to to do, but that doesn't mean I I can't dream about it and pick the ones that I really want to want to start saving for. I mean, of course, it's not just going to be on me. I just to to make you laugh, I did plan out um I just did a rough number of $20,000 to remodel our basement. And I did the math and that'll take me seven and a half years if I put in $50 a week <laughs> to remodel our basement. And that's to save $20,000. And in seven and a half years, it's gonna cost way more than that to remodel my basement. So anyway, I just, I, I kind of actually sat down and did math and um, it was surprising to see all that, but um, my husband and I will talk about goals and, and we'll figure it out together as well. But, you know, it's just little things like that. Um, I want to be able to have spending money on my vacation that's, you know, I can do whatever I want with that. And that is part of our vacation fund. But, um, you know, I don't, I also have a girl's trip that I do every year in July with my girlfriends and I've always, every year, I feel like I'm just scrambling that last week um, or even two weeks leading up to it to like make sure I've got the, all the money I need and I've, you know, given the money to my sister-in-law who always books the room and I don't want to feel like I'm scrambling for that money again. Um, last year, I dipped into my savings to cover it and why should I be dipping into savings? I I should be saving for this up front. So that's why the finances are a big deal to me. Um, and then I have some just regular goals as well. So the first one, um, I want to read 50 books this year. I love to read. So as long as I'm going to the library and setting aside time to do that, it won't be hard. Um, that is four books a month and then a couple months I would need to read five books or I can spread it out. Um, I am a fast reader and if it's something I'm interested in, I can knock those out pretty easily. So I just want to check that off my list that I read 50 books this year. Um, Secondly, if you're watching this video, it means I've already put a plan into action, but I do want to start a YouTube channel because I love the the planners I watch on YouTube. Um, plan with Elise is my absolute favorite. So if you like watching planners and you don't already watch Plan with Elise, go to her channel. She is so creative, so real. She's explains things in a way that makes sense. And actually watching her videos is the reason I got into budgeting and realized that as a person who is terrible with money, I can do something to save money. Like I am so inspired by her. So check out her channel if you haven't already, or if you don't already. Um, She's also got an Etsy shop with a lot of cool budgeting trackers in there. Um, and then my third goal, I actually don't have yet. Um, I've got a couple things I'm thinking about, but I don't, I don't have it all down for sure yet. So, and as I'm looking at this, I lettered everything in pencil first and then went over it. And so I'm kind of seeing some pencil lines here. Um, so I will fill in that third goal. I mean, I really think it's just to be more present and more, that's what I'm going to do. More adventurous. Be adventurous. Like I said, I have, that's a good one. Like I said, I have a seven year old son. I want to be more adventurous for him and I'm hoping that, you know, starting with my health, physical and mental is then going to push me to be more adventurous. I've, I feel like, you know, I've been, oh, hmm, 
I'm trying to figure out how to say this without like knocking myself. I'm just more introverted than I'd like to be, I think. And so, um, I just, I just want to get out there more, you know, um, I would like for me and my husband to go on more dates. I would like the three of us to, there's just the three of us and our two dogs. So I would like for us to, to, to be more present with each other. And so if I got to be the one that starts that, I'll do it. So anyway, guys, um, up here for the achieves and for these letterings, I used um, the Pigma Microns pens uh, 0.1 and 0.08. Um, I showed you the sticker books I use and the 1001fonts.com. So um, I also use my We Are Memory Keepers um, hole punch, which um, you can see I had to punch through stickers on this side because I did put some over there. So this is my little, or what's it called? One little word for 2023. And again, um, I am just going to take this out every year and then I'm going to put it maybe even just every week. I don't, I'm not sure yet, but I do, I do just want to, to keep this in my line of sight all the time because I feel really inspired and I want to keep that going. So Thank you so much for watching me today, um, watching the show, listening to me talk. I will see you guys hopefully soon in the next video. If there is a next video, then you know I did it. I started my YouTube channel up. So I will talk to you soon, I hope. Thank you. Bye.